Hello, my name is Evan Saftia, Director of Product Marketing here at Cato Networks. In this short demo, I'm going to show you how to onboard a new user into Cato's Software Defined Perimeter in just a few minutes. We're going to start by configuring a non-active directory user. So this can be any user, a user outside of your domain or your standard logon mechanisms. We're going to show self-service onboarding of the user using the Cato SDP client. And then finally, we're going to demonstrate zero trust access to resources that exist in the cloud. So this will be over SMB to both Dublin, uh, Ireland, and Seoul, South Korea. So let's get started. This is the Cato Management Console. Let's go ahead and take a look at a zero trust access policy that I created prior to this demo. If we click on security and then on WAN firewall, you can see I have a rule here that allows all remote users to connect to both Dublin and Seoul resources. Now let's create a new user. We'll click on Access, and then we'll click New. So I'm going to call this user Demo User with the actual email address demouser at kato.oo, and we'll click Apply. So you can see this user has been added to the list with the status of new and should be ready to go. So on the back end, an email has been sent to this user providing instructions on how to self-service onboard. Let's take a look at that now. So we're here on my client machine and we're gonna open Chrome and log into Outlook via Office 365. We're logged in and as you can see, we already have this email that's telling us how to self-service onboard into Cato using the account Cato PMM and our username demouser at Cato.oo. So we'll go ahead and click this link to activate. We'll be taken to the Cato user portal where the first thing we'll do is create a secure password. And we'll go ahead and click save. Now that we're fully in the portal, we can download the VPN client as well as download the login profile and certificates. I've already done the client and certificate, so let's download the profile. Now that this is downloaded, we'll launch it. And we're going to go ahead and click delete so that the credential file isn't saved. Now that that's been loaded, if we launch our Cato client, you can see that the user credentials have already been registered and we can just connect to the Cato service. So now that we're connected, let's switch back to our management console and take a look at this user connection. So in the Cato Management Console, again, we see demo users now connected. We can click on it and we can see that this user has connected to his nearest location. So being in Texas, Dallas was the best performing location at the time of connection for this user. And this user has been automatically connected to the Dallas POP. Let's switch back to our client machine now and access our resources. First, we're gonna open the command prompt and I'll ping each of these resources so you can see that it resolves a local private IP address. So we're gonna ping dublin.cato.oo. As you see, we get the private IP address 192.168.0.11. And now we're gonna ping soul.cato.oo as well. And as you can see, we get the IP address 192.100.0.11. So now that you can see that these are private resources, we're gonna go ahead and connect to these via SMB. So the Dublin file share opens properly and quickly using SMB. And now we're going to go ahead and try the sole one. And there we go, that loaded as well. So in just a few minutes, we were able to onboard a brand new user into the Cato Software Defined Perimeter and allow them to access resources uh, privately through the Cato Cloud.